Hey everybody, welcome to another video, and in this video, we're going to be testing which powder is best for breathing fire. Now, if you've seen other videos on YouTube on fire breathing, the most common way they do it is with cornstarch. I have not seen anyone try all these other things, so I thought I'd make a video on it. So, most people use cornstarch. It tastes terrible, and you only get like one good fire breathe or uh, breath of fire until you have to get some water. So, here I have other materials that I want to try. Coffee creamer, boric acid. Uh, flour, powdered sugar, and talcum powder. And these two are poisonous, so I'm going to be using a blowgun for these, so that way I don't get it in my mouth. Breathing fire uh, with this kind of powder is actually kind of considered safe fire breathing because the powder cannot travel back to your mouth because it's too thick. In order for this stuff to burn, it has to be widely dispersed into the air, and that's what makes the flame. So those are very low chance of it coming back at your face unless it's really windy. Now when doing this experiment make sure you have a bunch of water nearby not to put out the fire but to drink because you're going to be very thirsty and you're really going to want to get the stuff out of your mouth. Okay now before I do this I'm going to need to make a torch and it'll be quite easy actually. So I have a stick that I'm just going to attach some an old t-shirt to at the very end and tie it off and then I'm going to dip that in rubbing alcohol and then it'll work just fine. The other thing I have is a blowgun I've made at the end, I have like a marshmallow skewer that goes all the way down. I'm going to wrap some around this. And the blowgun actually works really well, too. If you want to blow something that's poisonous, like boric acid, just see what that effect or how that'll work. So here's a video on the screen of what that looks like without the flame. Okay, so take your knife and just start cutting your shirt. So now that you've cut it off, just start wrapping it around the end of your stick. And then you're just going to tie it off using the other end. So like this, and then just do like a square knot. So, or just a pretzel knot, so like this, and then bring it through. And that's it. So once it's tied on, you're just going to kind of want to cut off the excess, so you don't have like flames way out here. So now we're done, and there is our torch. Now pretty much do the exact same thing to the blowgun if you want to do the blowgun. And by the way, I have the, um, the materials to build this blowgun in the link in the description. Basically a PVC pipe, coupling, and I'll have the measurements dumped out now. Uh, here's all the materials I have all set out. You won't be able to see me, but you'll be able to see the flame. All right, Let's so go. I'm gonna do cornstarch th first, three times in the mouth, and then three times with the blowgun. Okay, so cornstarch. Uh, this works pretty well, except you have to drink water like immediately after because it's almost like the cinnamon challenge because it, like, it makes your mouth all dry and it also will put out the flame when you blow it. So we'll see how the other ones compare. What we're gonna be doing is flour. flour. This one probably made a bigger flame, but uh, it tasted much worse, and it was a lot harder to get out of your mouth, and it actually did not work with the blowgun. Now we have non-dairy creamer. So, creamer, um, this one by far tasted the worst, and it was the hardest to get out of your mouth. So that's just a huge downside to it. The flame was okay, and the first time I did it with the blowgun, it actually didn't work, so they tried two more times, and then it worked. And now we have the sugar. No! Powdered sugar. So this one by far tasted the best. And the flame was decent, and uh, but the main problem was that it did not work in the blowgun. I tried two different times, and they went out. So these next two are poisonous, so do not want to swallow these, and I'm going to be using the blowgun for these, so do not put these in All your right, mouth. here is talcum powder. Here we go. Put my hand around it. Maybe that'll... All right, and here is boric acid, and if you've been on my channel for a while now, you know exactly what boric acid is, and this is going to be really cool if it works. 
so I hope you enjoyed those videos also after I talk about uh, the powders of uh, some more slow motion footage so um, let me give you a rundown or analysis of what different the powders so this is kind of, the cornstarch is kind of the control for the experiment um, because it's the most widely used so the cornstarch tastes pretty bad it's kind of hard to get out of your mouth but not as bad compared to some of the other ones the flame um, was pretty good it was kind of up there compared to the, the other ones but it wasn't the best so it's all right next is flour flour tasted much worse than i think cornstarch but the flame was actually bigger and it was more kind of a spark kind of flame you can see you can kind of see if you watch the video again it's more like a spark and it kind of like goes out um the cornstarch kind of goes all at once oh one more thing about the cornstarch this one actually creates kind of like a mushroom cloud and goes up the flour kind of goes out this one did not work in a well gun, but this one works actually kind of well because of the, because uh, it makes a big flame, but it does not work in a blow gun, and it tastes pretty bad. Next is powdered sugar. This tastes the best, for sure. It tastes the best. Um, it doesn't taste good at all, but it's much better than the flour of the cornstarch. So this one makes a decent sized flame. Not as good as the flour of the cornstarch, but it's okay. And last, we have coffee creamer. This one, uh... It was tasted. It tasted so bad, but it was probably the brightest out of all of them. So that's pretty much this. And the flame is about the same as the powdered sugar. Um, boric acid. This did not work. It's pretty disappointing because if it did work, it would create green fire or a big green flame. I have a video right there. You can click on if you want to watch that. Um, and taco powder. It didn't work either. But what I also tried is I took a, the torch and went like this on them, and that created a small flame. But the with the blowgun didn't work so there is a basic rundown of all the different powders that i used personally i think flour did the best but um here's a picture on the screen of the size of each flame and here is some more slow motion footage Your whole mouth wasn't on it. Go, go. No, let me stop. Let me see it. So that wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. It would really help. Also, make sure to watch this video right here. It'll show you how to make a handheld flamethrower. And don't forget to subscribe. See ya.